Okay, step one. So step one is one bounce. So you can start off with the ball in your hands or your feet. It's your decision. If you want to make it a bit more challenging, start from the floor. Okay, so pick an area, a surface where you can bounce the ball off and it can rebound and then you can take as many touches as you want. But the only condition is that you've got to take one bounce and one bounce only. So if the ball drops twice, you've got to start again. Try and use different surfaces of your body, okay, of your foot. So you might want to use your thigh if it comes to your thigh. You might want to use your chest if it comes to your chest. You might want to use the outside, the inside, your laces. And you might want to use your weak foot in there as well. Good luck. Okay, step two. So step two is a little bit more tricky. So there's no bounce. So you can use any part of your foot. You can use either foot and you can take as many touches as you want. But if the ball bounces on the floor, you have to start again. Remember, keep count and good luck. Okay, step three, this is obviously the trickiest one, which is the final part. So there's no bounce. You can take as many touches as you like still, but you've got to alternate your feet. So this is really hard. So don't forget to count. Use different surfaces to help you. So if you play it with the right foot and it comes back to your right side, then you've got to think about how to get that ball over to your left side. It might be one touch but the ball's got to be in the air. It might be that you need two or three, okay? So there's no right or wrong with that. However, it gets back across to your left foot, it's fine. And then obviously it's got to go over to your right and so on and so forth. Don't forget to count, good luck. <laughs> 